hi there, I'm a little bit crooked because I'm trying to get this in while it's fresh in my head. Um, I'm Valerie Ling, I'm a clinical psychologist. I also these days like to think of myself as a burnout prevention coach. I wanted to give you some insight into the, the, the kinds of research and rubrics that I use in my work. Um, this morning is a morning for me where I'm actually doing a lot of my burnout prevention work and I wanted to provide you with some ideas of how I do my work. So the first thing I do, just draw a line for myself, one, is to actually ask myself, what industry am I looking at? What's the research tell me about the key indicators for burnout in that particular industry or that particular population? I can tell you that for psychologists, um, there's something that we call schema, um, which leads into things like uh, perfectionism, unrelenting standards, uh, subjugation of our needs and our self-sacrifice, for example. Okay, um, I can tell you that for teachers, the issue of vicarious trauma uh, in classroom experiences is a really important thing to look at. I can tell you that for doctors, um, the issue of culture, hospital culture, uh, legis um, what's the word when people are suing one another? The, lit the uh, legal situations that they find themselves um, and the overarching power of being reported and seen contributes. So the first thing I do is I actually look at the industry. I look and see what are the indicators that tells me that is really important to look at when we're looking at burnout because resilience, individual resilience is not enough to combat burnout. You need to understand the industry and you need to understand the work situation. The second thing I look at is a really simple formula. Three things. I look at the individual factors, I look at the work factors, and I look, like I said, at the organisational and industry factors. The individual factors I'm looking for is resourcing. I'm actually looking to see how are all of those individual resources, all the tanks that I talk about in my burnout stuff, you know, your hygiene level, uh, sleep hygiene, eating, exercise, uh, mental coping strategies, stress profile, etc., 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 relationship network, etc. I look at resourcing. But when it comes to looking at work, I dig into Maslach's theory of burnout. It's really, really important to understand that. And there are six pillars we need to look at. We need to look at uh, the degree of control that the person has, uh, reward factors, fairness, community, work load, but more importantly, work, not more importantly, equally important work type. Always forget six, and like it'll always be like one of them. Hang on. Ah, of course. How can I forget this one? Values. Okay. Finally, when I look at the organization and the industry, this feeds into it, so it gives me a deep understanding of what's really uh, at the heart of the issue from an organization. But I look very closely at the ethos that the organization um, has. And then I look at communication structures, communication structures that they have. And then very broadly, I look at some of the organizational fact, uh, factors, such as the way that it's structured, uh, leadership, feedback, um, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So, when I'm doing this work, essentially what I'm looking for is, it's a question of number one, how much resourcing is in the, is, are in these three areas, how much congruence versus um, uh, clash, clashingness, I can't think of the opposite of congruence, oh my word, uh, that, you know, how much it's out of alignment, misalignment, uh, it's a question of fit as well. And then what we work on is, is not the hopelessness that sits in the organization, although I'm very excited to be called in at the moment to think tank with a couple of organizations to help them to shift culture. But we 
we look at manipulating the ingredients in a person's resource and then we look at an individual level how can they actually negotiate what's happening in their work environment with regards to these six things and it's not always about making big changes as in going to your boss and demanding that i get paid more for example it's about negotiating the type of work you do so that psychologically you can feel like i can tick off that this is a fair job or that it provides me with a reward okay so I just wanted to share that with you because I just got off um, my first consult, which was a burnout consult, and we today actually worked very specifically here, um, linking what this person was finding difficult here and in one of the organization structures, right? So trying to figure out, okay, where exactly in the community tank in the workload was being pushed at this point in time that was giving them um, a sense of distress. All right, I just wanted to share it with you. Have a great day. Be the change. And maybe let me know what your thoughts are about my, this framework.